We're smiling again today. Um, and he's still got a silly still grin on his face. Still got a silly grin on his face. Um, we won this game one 0 but that wasn't really the uh, the story of the game. So let's just go through a bit from you, Ian, first. It wasn't the story of the game, mate. No, you're right. Um, we we were up the slope the first half, and we I don't know. We looked a bit dogged. We looked I don't know. We looked tired. Our concentration. It just pretty much had uh, us calling for half time after about ten minutes, and it was just seemed to be sort of mistake after mistake by us, and we couldn't couldn't get the grips with the game, couldn't get on the ball, and we were trying to force it and. We, I don't know, we just looked out of sorts to be fair, but we, we sort of got dug in and uh, got to half time and then we tried to change things from there. And was it a plan, Andy, to. Uh, Is that way? Was it a plan to um, kick up Hill first half if we won the toss? Or no. Or was it just. That's, just, that's, like. that's just the way it went, and I mean, it, we, we didn't really think at the beginning that the slope was going to be that much of a problem, but it, pr it proved to be. It proved to be a lot more problematic than we thought it was going to be. So, I, f I think we, like Paris just just said, we come out and we looked a bit, a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish, and it was one of them that St Albans was always going to be on the front foot because they'd just been done six one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they was always going to be up there, and, and it, the possibility of us being a little bit complacent because we'd just done a team six one. So yeah. it's getting that balance right, and, and, going and that's very hard. To, that's very hard to control because there's a lot of expectancy today. Um, maybe by the players themselves, certainly by the supporters as well. I'm I'm same as well. We all come there thinking, hey, you know, mm. nice pitch. Uh, a new team basically St Albans put together and you know we should come and carry on from where we did and football ain't like that is it, it don't work like that No, I mean it's it it was always going to be a test. Oh, I said to Parry, this was a much bigger game than, than, than people gave it credit for. I mean, it was so important for us to, to keep the run going. You know, we, mm. we've now nicked, what, seven points out of and nine. Now, nine. You look at the last nine games, we won four, yeah. drew a couple and lost three. You know, and we, we've only let in five goals in the last seven games, which is a, a, which is a massive And, and you know, whatever anybody says, no matter who, and it, this league shows it every time, no matter what, team you play away from home a point is a good result mm. yeah. if you can come away with a point or come away come away with a win obviously if you can come away with a point away from home that's a good point isn't it Listen, we, we, we spoke you know we, we were honest we're an hour into the game we've, we're playing well and we want the free but we were you know I honestly probably would have still took it so yeah, we like, would have took a point it's, they're a good outfit you know they're a good good club they're an experienced club they're sitting there eighth or ninth in the league you know we're on the way sort of back up it and it was it was one of them games where we we showed our our football style Tuesday night how we can play football and we can count and move the ball quickly and pass. But we shown today also how we can ride our luck and dig in and work as a group and nick the win and begin. You know when we we're on that run we weren't getting this kind of luck or showing that kind of effort and desire as much as we have done today. I think. Yeah, well, let's get into how we dug the win out. Um, we sort of got into the last five minutes but prior to that um carl had a good chance of a header didn't he yeah yeah very good chance it's great to be fair it's probably one of the first corners that's that's cleared the front man we only had yeah, absolutely we delivered had right yeah two or three corners yeah, yeah we didn't, we didn't have, have many. many and i think this this one sort of just delivered in there with a bit of pace and it's he's come out of a bit surprised but he, sh he should you know he loved me he should do better that's a great chance that was and then you know Louis had a good one didn't he but he, i think he ran out of steam when he yeah, ran down I, the left. yeah I he ran out of steam, didn't he? he I think he'd have had it. I guess we let this train come past. Vic has been waiting to do that all year. <laughs> Some people are so fame hungry, aren't they? Yeah. Fame hungry wants oh, to get on the telly. But anyway, you know. No, yeah. like you saying, Louis, yeah, he, he made a fantastic run. And it opened for him as well, because yeah. I was standing behind the goal and he was cutting in, cutting in, and I thought. Just you can actually, you could run it in. He could have yeah. run that into the goal, but yeah, I think just, he ran out, of, ran yeah, out of legs. He said and in tried there, to I asked him why, and he, and, he, and he said the same. He said he ran out of puff. But he's, he sort of almost took one for the team the last five or six games is where we've been sort of defending so well it is from the whole team you know yeah. why players have had to do a lot more yeah. behind the ball than they yeah. they would like to possibly yeah. or and their defensive duties have been yeah top notch and they've they done it today again for 25 minutes you know we were wrong side but then they did it they got back the right side and yeah. you know even Kyle came on and say so had a chance yeah. and then he 
I, I, I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't looking. Still, I think I was looking the other way after the penalty. To be fair, so so, so let's get to the famous five, last five minutes, Andy. Um, penalty for them. Yeah, I think he did this ball. It was well, tricky, wasn't he? Like, he, he, wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah, was tricky. He's, ball, like, he's, like, ball, he? he's got in front of him. He's, he's done enough to get it because he's done it over the other side as well. Yeah, he did. He? But he threw himself on that one. To yeah, be fair, no. you know, <laughs> he left a dent. He threw he's himself, done himself down three times. Yeah, yeah, he's done that. I mean, I think that was a pen. I think that one was, and you know, Ryan just got caught behind him and he's going to go down and I mean Jack's done ever so well what I noticed is that um, like a lot of people do they don't get away we, we slowed it up a bit before they could take the pen didn't we yeah yeah, I mean Jay had gone in the goal have a drink yeah. and yeah. slowed it all up and, 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 yeah, sort of like. and then Jack was trying anything, to, Jack was saying where do I stand am yeah. I allowed to stand on the line and that and that does put pressure under the penalty take. I'm it not, not going to say it weren't. It was a good penalty. Well, we've, we've actually, had that. We've had that it was a great save. We've had that sort of thing done to us all year. Yeah, 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 team, yeah, teams this, have been. This is, we're, we're learning they're, now. Yeah, you know? they're clever. This yeah. is the difference. You know, like we said, early doors in this season, the death was happening to us, and now all of a sudden we, we've learnt lessons, and we're now doing it to other teams. And, yeah, and we're knowing we're getting a reward for that. Yeah, it, we're knowing that'd be a bit cheeky, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's also like a bit naive. We talk about naive too. Look, what we're trying to what we're trying to do at this football club is you give these youngsters opportunities alongside these experienced players, and we we made a lot of mistakes today, you know. And that's a lot of it was naivety, a lot of it was just decision making. But you, that's what happens with younger players, you know. Hopefully today this this will be a massive learning curve for us today. <coughs> And yeah. like you know, like uh, Ryan's got done a little bit there, and the guys just nipped it through him and run across him more than been kicked and bought a penalty. And Ryan will learn from that. He's a clever kid. You know, he's 18, 19 year old yeah. kid. <coughs> so then let's get through to the um, missed the penalty. Um, that was on time. Um, we had what 100 supporters behind it, behind the goal at this end, <coughs> all cheering that we got a point because we're very grateful that we got a point after you missed a penalty in the 91st minute. Yeah. Come down this end. Um, I was behind the goal. I don't know what you saw. Tell me what you saw. What? I saw. I saw him um, catch it with his left hand, <laughs> <laughs> bounce it in front of him, and then, then miss it into the goal. Yeah, no, it, I, th I think he just it, he just come to the ball, didn't he, and just sort of manipulate well, the ball around. And then I saw the centre half hit him on the arm first. Oh, what there? Yeah, it, oh, right, and so. he was facing the centre half was facing the wrong way. If I'm right, I still have my head in my hands in the penalty. It, to it, be hit him on the arm, came down, hit Carl on the arm as well on the hand. I don't know, he touched it, and then he, he sort of swung a foot at it very slowly, and it really was it slow motion. It, it trickled. Trickle. It trickled. No, it, it was worse than that. <laughs> it was worse it, than a trickle. It slopped in. Yeah. <laughs> I, all I remember. It was worse than a trickle. All I remember was that we had a hundred. Odd supporters oh, no. behind the goal where he scored the winner, so he ran over to there to celebrate. So, <laughs> to find a little, little bit odd. To be, to be <laughs> fair, he don't score many, so he didn't know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> he hadn't read that but bit it was of the quite manual. funny because we was going go 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 behind the goal, and then everyone went go. And then we got jumping up and down. So it was Brilliant. a good it was a good finish for us. It was uh, we left it to the 94th just, minute. Um, but hey, look, we've got three points. Uh, um, I think overall um, possession. You know, um, I thought we I thought we deserved something more yeah. than the draw. I think so, and I, I think as well that, that the supporters today played a big part. They got behind us so well yeah, today. Yeah. You know, they, they come down in, in well, hundred plus supporters travelled down yeah, here today, yeah, and they got behind that goal. Yeah. And like you say, that they, they, yeah, yeah they, they didn't stop all game, and, and they were there. They were supporting us. There was no oh, sucking it through the teeth when things weren't going our way in the first half. They were still there. They no, were still supporting us. We had a couple in the brilliant. dugout telling us about yeah, the uh, yeah, the away kit. Was away kit. Yeah. He said we're happy with his shirt. It's clashing with our lads. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest with you, I was behind the goal for most it of was. the second. I was behind. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But but apparently it wasn't clashing as badly as the light green tape on Jack's light green socks. Oh right. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah apparently so. <laughs> Apparently you can only have two standing. I don't know. Or you, you, know, you, you know, know, wear shoulders under time. got to buy blue pants now to wear blue shorts. Yeah. yeah. Although Arthur has only been told every Trump game. Every game. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to buy him some. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah we, no, we lost him for five brilliant. minutes. That's a bit old to buy Arthur, but never mind. I think his phone ringing, isn't it? Why yeah. He, 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 he was in there on Twitter. He was on Twitter. So yeah. So I've just come off. I've just come off to change my shorts. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you know, we're going to move on now. You have got full training sessions next. Yeah, week. we've got a couple of sessions Tuesday, next Thursday. week. Yeah, we can get um, him in for the first time working some stuff, which is good. Got Stalbridge next week. I'm looking forward to that. I really am looking forward because I thought we played well. That was probably our best. Best overall performance um, of the season away to Stalbridge, and we took a, a really good 1-0 win. And I thought we were, it was a real professional game, we controlled them, um, we waited, we were patient and we got the goal near the end. Mm. 
um, from that no, free okay. kick, and we've done really well. And we got you, your grandson. Yeah. Lift him up. What do you think? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. So um, we're moving up the table. That's great. Um, hopefully, we might have done enough now to, to relax for the rest of the season. Another three points, maybe. <coughs> but we're not going to relax. We're still developing. Yeah, we and you two are still developing the squad for next year and the team for next year. So yeah, it's going to come along. No, it's quite nice. Makes a nice. It's a nice feeling for a change too. Have a, a bit of luck and yeah, nick, nick something instead of having something taken away from us, you know. And we've Which been, has happened all season. Yeah, and it has. We haven't had much luck. But I think a lot, I say luck, it's not. We, we worked hard again today. And they, they, let's be honest, we our squad isn't the biggest and every single one of them's played a part in nearly all the games. And they, you know, our tiredness will come into a bit. So we'll have a light session Tuesday. Light session. Because you won't be there. Why not? Oh no. No, not there Tuesday. No, I won't be there Tuesday. Are we allowed to tell them why? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a little bit of surgery on having, Tuesday. He's having a... So I won't, but I won't well, be a Yeah, that's like, that he's going in. They're going to try and find it. <laughs> find it and restart it because apparently I'm a bit of a dried, dead one. But no, so I won't be there Tuesday. Be but there. I'm telling him I'll be back Thursday. He ain't got well, to worry. Well, good luck for whatever you're going to do Tuesday. Won't be rest. Let's move on to Stalbridge, and uh, it's, it's always been a happy camp anyway. But it's it's nice to get a result on a Saturday. Yeah, the the boys are bonded now. The, yeah. boy, the boys are a proper team now. You know, we've had one or two disappear and we've had a two, one or two come in but they are actually bonded the change room now feels like a proper change room and it, it's, it's taken us a little while yeah, but we'll, we'll drag that through the next season and we'll, and we'll be ready from the start and we'll un as I say and a lot of people we'll understand all the teams next yeah, year definitely. and we'll understand just as much as important as the clubs yeah. what the clubs ambitions are yeah. and that goes a long way as well mm. so we know what we're facing I mean it, 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 it's, it's you know it's, it's, all, it's all under wraps at the moment but the things that we've got in, in plan is, is absolutely phenomenal you know you, you can can't want better for your club than no. what, what we've got planned. So. Yeah, and everything's in place. Just the one thing, one more things to fall in. If that falls in, everything you you guys have put together um, since you've been here has fallen in place within it's one. Been a lot going on, mate, in there. A lot going, a lot going on. on. And hopefully, to the supporters, you know. You don't believe me? Ask my missus. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have good news to to announce very soon. Um, we're just waiting for con certain things to happen. Um, once that happens, you you will all get and see. The sort of structure we've built for this football club, mm, ambition in there. and it'll probably be as good as anything in non-league football, by f at least. Oh, without a shadow yeah, of doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt, we're, we're, it'd be better than a lot of the league clubs. Yeah, yes. we, we will be, yeah. and we'll be matching teams that have had it in place for a lot longer than we will, yeah. and that, that's that's the key. It's just, just just a good time to be involved with this football club yeah, and so people have just got to jump on for the ride and as we always say it's not all, all about first team it's not all about that it's about the total club kids as well and what we're trying to do and, you know we can uh, have a more serious look at it next year um, not that we have not this year but you know we'll understand next year I'm looking forward to next year already right yeah no worries alright so let's get to Snailbridge and uh, move on cheers ciao